Ukrima Media's Polity Amtabi Madiba. Joining me today is researcher and analyst Professor Raymond Sadna, here to unpack his column titled Crisis and Way Forward. Welcome, Raymond. Thank you. What is different from the crisis today from a few years ago? Well, what I think is different is that we had a massive crisis within the ANC. We had a state capture where funds were stolen large scale from the state, uh, lots of fraud at the highest level. But what we're seeing this year, and it's been building up over decades, is that the state is falling apart. There are, there's a crisis of water. Where I stay, just up the road, are houses that are worth millions. Now, when I say millions, maybe 30 million, something like that. But in the WhatsApp group for this area, people almost every day are talking about water leaks. Even it's the same with Santon, which is very much, well, maybe it's as they equally wealthy or, or, or Santon is more wealthy. Drive along Santon, you also can drive into a pothole and tear your tire. But the situation we've seen in recent times, like the, the Albert Street explosion, where taxis were flying in the air. Now, that's the sort of thing one would have expected in science fiction not in the central business district of Johannesburg. You have not just one fire, but a lot of fires in Johannesburg. But in the East Rand, where I'm staying now, Ekuruleni, you had some top of a truck hitting a railway line, creating an explosion. People are dying every day through what seem like accidents, but they are really part of a broader pattern of, obviously, I didn't mention it even, electricity capacity being run down. Electricity capacity has an impact on water capacity because they can't, the, the dam is sometimes full, but they can't pump the water because the power is not there or the power is impaired and the functioning is impaired through load shedding. Um, the way in which um, local government is operating now with minority governments, with a mayor who has like less than 5% of the vote, gives one a sense that is not really serious governance at that level amongst others. And in big cities, uh, you have very serious things happening at this moment um, with regard to health care, with regard to, as I've mentioned, these fires and explosions and collapsing buildings and so forth. And you have a person who really has got no authority, and that person has been put there in order to stabilize a coalition between the ANC and the EFF. So my feeling is we've got a systemic crisis. We don't have, we have a crisis of the ANC collapsing as a vibrant organization, which at one time was loved by maybe the majority of the people of South Africa, but is collapsing, but is bringing down the state with it. And I think Whatever coalition you establish now is not going to uh, be able to remedy that. You need something different. And why do you say that political doctrine is not an issue now? I mean, when it has been in the past, especially in the ANC and the SACP. Well, what I'm saying is in the past, when I was involved, we used to spend a lot of time debating doctrine like uh, some people believed in socialism, some people believed in social democracy, some people believed in communism, some people believed purely in, in nationalism, uh, and so forth and so on. And there were these vibrant debates within the context of people who cared, who left 
their schooling to go and serve in the struggle, to get training for MK and come back and fight for the people to have the country become free. Now, what you have today is that people don't care. The minister in the presidency after the Albert Street massacre says we have no obligation to uh, provide housing to uh, illegal immigrants. Now, she didn't even know whether they're illegal or not, but it's a callousness. It's a callousness that has not even been reprimanded by the president of the country. In There used to be a tradition in the UK that if you did something like that, you would resign the next day. Never happens here. There are lots of people in, in government who've been marked in the Zondo Commission or in relation to uh, the Guptas or Bursasa. They're still enjoying, some of them are in cabinet or in deputy ministers. Many of them are still in parliament. Many of them are in the national executive of the ANC. Uh, and what I think has happened is that not only is there dishonesty, fraud, things like that, but people are not moved by the fact that there is not running water for some of the key hospitals in Gauteng or in uh, Nelson Mandela Bay and many other places. There was cholera in Haman's Kral. How long did it take the president to get there when Haman's Kral is 10, 15 minutes away from his office? He first went overseas, did a whole lot of other things. What I'm saying is people don't care about the well-being of the ordinary people of South Africa. Unless you care, what is freedom about? Is freedom just an idea that you debate between philosophers? Or is freedom something about caring about one another and cons being concerned about ensuring that everyone lives with the basic needs that they require? Also, Raymond, do you think that you are offering a viable way forward? I mean, you speak of compassion and similar concepts, but do you have a viable path out of the crisis? Not yet. Well, let me put it this way. I've been writing about this for quite a long time, and I don't have the answer. You see, it's difficult to... It's, I, what, what's most concrete in what I say is that you need a new alliance of forces, including business, professionals. I should have referred to caregivers like Gift of the Givers. I have previously mentioned them healthcare workers, social movements, et cetera, et cetera. In that way, I'm saying that's the sort of direction we need to go. But I'm just sitting here behind my computer. I don't have a movement of my own. You need to build a new movement. You need to organize people around ideas that are not just uh, with slogans about Marx and Engels and things like that, but with compassion, care for one another, and those things. And the words that I haven't yet been able to explore sufficiently is the word hope. Hope is not the same as optimism. If you have hope that something will happen, it means that there are some things that have already happened that indicate at some time in the future, if you do some things, you may be able to turn things around. Now, I don't really know enough about the concept of hope. It is three volumes by Ernst Bloch, thick volumes on hope. And I haven't been able to read these through. I've read some of it. And I'm reading now. I planned to write on it last week, but I wasn't ready. And I don't want to pretend that I have the answer or answers and I think that people must come together and they must be inclusive in order to have a way in addition to electoral, electoral ways of remedying the situation in South Africa. I didn't provide that direction. I'm trying still. 
That was Professor Raymond Sadna speaking to Criminal Media's Polity about crisis and way forward.